All right, so today we're gonna extract our honey. We don't have a lot, but first thing we're gonna do is uncap them. If you don't uncap the honey, you don't, uh, when we put it in the extractor, it won't release at all. Now we're going to take them and put them here into the, the extractor. Aiden, you want to come over here? Yeah. Nice and easy. Nice and steady cranking. And then it just flings it out centrifugally. You can see the honey down at the bottom. That side's now empty. I'm gonna flip them around. You don't have to whisper. Try telling him. Somebody forgot the other side. Here's a full frame of capped honey. It's a nice balmy 86 degrees in here. We have the ability to heat our sugar house. So fortunately it's 
really hot in here, but when it's warm like this, it allows us to let the honey flow a little better than if it was outside temperature. So our room for earlier this morning, we turned on the heater in that room. It was 100 degrees when I pulled this box out. So the honey is just flowing right out as soon as we're, we're touching it. So a little warm. Aiden's behind the camera and he's, he's dying in here. Show the bottom of the tank here, bud. So, down in the tank, there's a grate. And the wax cappings sit down there, so any of the honey that's on these cappings will just drip off into the bottom of the tank. the next one. All right, so our third set here. Pretty much empty. Flip it around here to the other sides and then we'll probably have to flip it around again and get the last of it out. Pretty empty. 
Yep. So all the honey's been pulled out of both frames. So. All right. So now we finished pulling our and spinning all of our frames. So now we're going to strain it. And you want to come down and get a close up of all the honey that's going to come out. So this is a double strainer. It's coarse on the top and it will uh, catch the wax and then underneath it is a fine strainer. And this is really the part where why we need it so warm in here is this is the the bottleneck it's got to go through this strainer and it's a pretty viscous substance open the bottom of the bucket down here and that's the filtered honey at the bottom we'll see how much we get out of this All right, so now we're gonna take the all of the cappings, throw it in some cheesecloth, and uh, squeeze it out. Come back when we're all done with the final count. All right. So we ended up with 20 pounds of honey. There's a little bit left in that little container over there. But not bad for the first year. Again, as they say, for first year beekeepers, you shouldn't uh, expect any honey. So 20 pounds for us is great. Go ahead and uh, check out our Facebook page at Shivsky Sugar or just search uh, Shivsky Sugar Shack 
and uh, place an order. Uh, we'll have limited quantities available. Thanks for watching. All right, just a quick sneak peek. We'll be switching content here uh, on Friday, October 1st. I'm heading out to Hilbert, Wisconsin to pick up our new Smoky Lake evaporator. Um, we'll be doing some more maple content from here on out, getting ready for next season. So this bad girl here will be coming out and we'll be installing our new one. Stay tuned.